Hello everybody! Welcome back to the OR History channel and we're doing a return to Portal Knights. So where we left off was at uh, all the way over at Joran's outpost um, where we discussed how we would need to get 36 uh, like portal stones in order to roughly get to the key um, and then after that there's only one or two extra areas that we can explore so today's episode is going to be dedicated to uh, going and finding basically the key that's the main idea um, we're like for the plan of today's episode depending on how fast we do it or not will be kind of w the plan that we'll use to move forward so without further ado let's dive in so ah yes yeah, so this is going to be I believe the one underneath um, the one that we found when we had to rescue that dude from underground can I make that jump? Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm uh, gonna have to use some dirt here. Whoops. It's been a while since I played. <laughs> there we go. Right. Yes, this is gonna be underground. I'm really hoping that the water doesn't come in because that's gonna be a pain. So let's just dig down. There's going to be stuff. <laughs> we landed in a safe area. Alrighty then. There we go. So now we're going to Angler's Wharf. So here we are at Angler's Wharf. Uh, so this is a uh, quite... Uh, nice jungle area that we can explore and then we've got it looks like the portals are this way there's if i remember the map yes there's two directions one that will carry us forward another that's kind of a dead end area so if i also remember right they are both in like the inside of these temples and we could explore the temples but we do have to press on as well um Oh no, there is one. Okay, so that's handy. Uh, so there's one outside. I think I'll open this one first. Uh, also, yeah, just to note that once you've opened a portal, like, for now, it's a checkpoint. If I open that, that checkpoint will disappear. So, which is a bit of a shame, because it would be nice if um, they kept the portals open. So we're going to Morello Marshes next. So... Here we are, Morello Marshes, and this is the one that has the portal in it, which means that we went the right way. Um, obviously, if we went to the other one, there would be no portal, meaning that the uh, compass wouldn't have activated, which would have meant we would have had to have uh, gone back uh, to the other area to look, basically, for for the portal. So we're getting close. It's going to be around here somewhere. I don't think it's above ground, which is interesting. I'm just going to have one last with the arcane compass. Let's see how we get on there. Okay, so it's going to be roughly here. So I'm going to dig on down. So a question will be whether we are uh, maybe under leveled or not. I'm really not sure at this point because the scaling uh, in terms of the zones does drastically increase. So for example, this is a level 15 and we're like, what level are we? Uh, we're level, if I get to the right one, level 17. So it looks like we could be at the right level, but you never know. You, it, it, We may or may not be, so... Now we need to go to North Point. 
So here we are at North Point. Also, something really exciting um, is, as you can see, this is called the Egg Hunt, which is in the Plains of Passage, um, which is on the map. This is something that I will be doing. Uh, we've got plenty of time to do it. Uh, I plan to do kind of like an Easter special episode where we'll, we'll do the egg hunt. And this is, a, this is really cool because I've never done the egg hunt before. Um, I bought this game last year uh, on the Nintendo Switch roughly around May, June time. So obviously missed the Easter event. Um, so I'm really excited to actually uh, to do this event. Now, I believe, if I have a quick check at the map, yes, there are two locations here. So, I'm going to open this one up. I can reach it from here without attracting any of the uh, monsters. So, there we go. So, we're just going to dive on through. Broadside Bay. I think that's correct. So here we go, Broadside Bay. This looks like it's the area where the key would be. Let's have a look. Yes. So we're here. Um, didn't take us that long, actually. So that's really exciting. Um, so let's see how we do here. So here's Captain Brian Beard. Arr, I know what you want. You want me to hold him? Well, I stole it fair and square. Off with you, yellow dog. Mm, or unless I interest you in some fair trade. Or me buried treasure is all I think about. Alas, I've forgotten where I buried it. Or me slap-headed donkey-brained crew got themselves killed in the mine. Or if you find me map, we'll talk about the totem year after. So, basically, he wants us to find his totem. Uh, best way to do that is, oh, well, we found it straight away. Uh, you have to fire the cannons, and hopefully one of the directions will lead you to the place you need to go. So, these guys are level eight, 16. I almost said 18 then. Uh, oh, that gunner is so annoying. This is what I was slightly worried about. Yeah. The, the the gunners in this level, do I have potions? I do not. I have healing scrolls, but I've only got two of those left. So I don't really want to use those. I think our sneaking skill is definitely going to come in clutch. And I think for this, we're going to need to use the elite assassin blades. Get that poison off. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk past. Let's have a look. Hopefully this isn't too dark for you guys, so you can see clearly. Um, okay, so that's the next direction. There's no one around. We got enough time to get backstab. So I can take this guy out, no problem. Oh, he had a friend. Uh-oh. Alright, I took him out. Let's see if we can... I'm just going to take my time. There we go. We beat him. Okay. So, next part will be through here. But, nope, that's a dead end. It's always good to check just in case. Let's go this way. So, we got to dodge around. Let's keep going. Uh, we're going to move around this way. And we're going to go. And let's see. We're going to dodge this way. There we go. So that's the map. So this is the item that we need, the treasure map. So we managed to get through here without any problems. So we were slightly under leveled, so we couldn't just put up a fair fight. Uh, but it's useful being a rogue having that, uh, you know, the stealth skill. And we were able to sneak around uh, with a, what's it called? The advanced sneak? Uh, advanced stealth, there we go. Had it right the first time. <laughs> so let's just keep going around uh, and go up the stairs here and we'll talk to uh, Captain Brian Beard. Or me map, I never thought I'd see it again. So you're not such a greenhorn after all. 
Come find me when you're ready for real score. And he gives us a pirate flag. Now that we have me map, it's time to reclaim the lost treasure of Brinebeard. Arr, I get me what's in me chest, and in return you get the totem savvy. Aye, that's the spirit. Let's not waste any more time blathering then. So, now we gotta search for a red cross that's on the island. Now, the red cross isn't necessarily too difficult to find. Um, it can be, because uh, we're on a bigger map. But it'll be somewhere on the top here. Oh! Uh, and I just fell down. <laughs> you gotta watch for gaps. <laughs> uh, so there we go. Right, let's get going. And not do that again. Right. Okay, so there's some crabs and things. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get dirt block, going to build up, see if we can see it from here. Um, I don't see it, so this is going to be interesting. Um, It could be run that way, perhaps, um, but it could be back this way, somewhere that we can't quite see. But it is really obvious when you see it. So I'm going to go more of this way, because I feel that's the direction that we need to go. Oh, <laughs> took so much health. Uh, I'm going to quickly use this, just in case, so we can sneak past our, our opponents. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Please like, share, subscribe for more content. Uh, please put in the comments section like uh, maybe games you'd like to recommend. Any questions about this one? Hmm. I still don't see it. This is this is interesting. So this is like um like that one quest we had to do where. You know, sometimes it can be really easy to find, other times it can be quite difficult. Um, I'm having a look and I genuinely don't see it anywhere. So I think I'm going to keep, maybe go a little bit more this way because it looks like there's a, oh wait, what's that over there? Is that, that could be it down there. So let's use our sneak skill again. I think we're going to have to invest in some potions at some point. Um, okay, so I can't get across that way because there's a gap. Um, uh, let's think about this. I'm going to try my best to go around and just have a general look. It just looks like a cave. Oh, wait. No, that is it. Okay. I was right. I did, I did see it. So we're going to have to carefully make a way across so we don't fall down the gap. So I briefly saw it then, there was a red uh, cross on the ground, see it there, just ahead of us. It looks like there's going to be quite a few things that we're going to have to face. Uh, so we're just going to have to carefully keep going and not fall. I'm slightly nervous because I'm like, oh no, I don't want to fall off. Um, oh, good grief. Cat and Pickles. It's like, don't be doing that. Watch. Okay, there we go. Right. So hopefully this doesn't go when I fall down. There we go. Okay. No one's seen me. This is going to hurt. <laughs> Good thing I had a bit more health. 
But yes, so there we go. Oh no, my pack is full. Um, restores a little bit of health and mana. Oh, that's, that's actually a little useful. Um, I'll drink this so we can pick up the item. There we go. Right, so we got the golden hook. Now we need to get rid of something else because you can't trade items. The recipe for the classic table is something we've already read. So I need to sort out my inventory uh, later on. So let's return to the landing pad because now we have the hook. Uh, then we can talk to Brian Beard and we can get basically the key. And then I think we have enough time if we wanted to get a field test of how we would do against the next totem, Great Beast. It's the Herc Meteor Mother bought me when I was a lad. Arr, me heart is full of joy. Here, take this totem, and may it never darken me door again. Ooh, arr, ooh, arr. There we go. So now we can also trade with this guy. Uh, so he's got various weapons, uh, so he's got sickles. Uh, that we can use. Uh, there's also different weapons depending on the class you are. Uh, you can also get cannonball recipes, uh, hooks, uniform, which is Brian Beard's uniform, uh, and a wooden leg. <laughs> so you, if you want to be a pirate, you can be a pirate. Uh, so yeah, that's the quest, One Man's Trash. So, we can now go back to Joran's outpost. We know where the uh, totem is. So we can go there. So that's really exciting. And we can face the Dragon Queen, which is also really exciting. Will we beat her today is a question I we're going to find out. So here we are, Joran's outpost. Let's let's do it. Let's get in. I'm I'm excited. Um I'm hyped. So, like, without further delays, it should be where... That must be it there, the one with the white. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Right, okay. It's like, let's calm down. Yeah, yeah. So the Great Beast Totem. How much infantry space have we got? Only one. So, on the... The off chance, I'm going to drop some bones. Oh, I decided not to drop the bones. I'm uh, going to get rid of these blocks. I'll keep the red concrete blocks. They might be useful for something. Mushrooms are consumable, um, but I'm not going to eat those. Um, I'm going to swap for the stealth. There's no point using the stealth, I, I believe, here. Um, this could end up like the other boss. Okay, so let's uh, read this. For the great beast to open its way, find the totem piece gone astray. So it's exactly the same as the other one. Hup. There we go. So here we go. Dragon's Lair. Here we go. The Dragon's Lair. So we do have... Uh, do we have anything else that maybe could be used as a consumable, just in case? Um, this egg, it might come clutch. <laughs> uh, we're about to find out. Right, so, this is a hint. This fireball, as you can see, we hit it. And... Here she is! Oh boy! So as you can see, she fires those, and we gotta smack her with them. Oh, she hits! But if we hit her, we can do not bad damage. What about with this? Is that any better? Can't tell. Okay, so we gotta watch out because those become. Oh my word! Okay, the level twenty. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Okay, we took out one. They give health. Which is why I haven't used anything. Ah, oh, like a scroll yet. I might have to. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to use a scroll. Okay. Oh, my word. The amount of... Um, I'm only going to hit it for a bit. Because the amount of... Uh, 
There's way too many. Oh no! Okay, some of them disappeared. Oh, it wasn't looking. Okay. We may or may not be ready for this. <laughs> I'm going to give this one last attempt, maybe? I'm gonna eat the egg. Eat it. That'll give us, like, some quicker health regeneration for, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, no. I have a feeling we're underleveled here. Uh, we might need some better armor. Uh, you can find armor in those places that we didn't go to. Um, so that'll give us a bit more defense. Oh, I missed. That's... Okay, we hit her. So let's deal some damage. I think maybe we should focus more on just hitting her and ignoring these guys. They're going to be around, so just ignore them. They will smack the things, which is annoying. Okay, so we got her. Uh, just going to dodge. Oh my word, there's like loads of them. Um, okay, this may not be the strategy. Oh my word, now there's four of them. <laughs> This isn't the strat. <laughs> this is not the strat. Um, because there's no way I can deal enough damage without all of them. Like, oh my word. Yeah, no, this isn't gonna work. Oh my word. How many is there? What? <laughs> okay, some of them died. Some of them died. There's a lot of health. There's a lot of health. Um, maybe I can like. Get her to hit one of them by accident? I don't know. Ah, oh, go away! I'm trying to hit your mother! Ah, oh, I died. <laughs> okay, this isn't going to work. <laughs> We're out of healing. Ah, uh, so... Right, we are not ready. I had a feeling we would not be ready for this. So... With this in mind, this is going to be the end of the episode. I know we could beat the Dragon Queen, but we attempted it. We opened up. The, the main important thing of today was we were able to get, basically, the key, the totem key, to face the Dragon Queen. That was what was important for today. What we're going to do, uh, well, what I'm going to do is, when this is over, I'm going to grind up the character, we're going to go off screen, um, you know, I'm going to grind up, and then the next episode, I'll rematch against the Dragon Queen. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, please like, share, subscribe, for more content like this one, and as always, party on!